Hello and welcome to Scoresight. To get started with Scoresight, download the software from scoresight.live or by visiting the GitHub releases page. Get the version that fits your operating system and complete the install procedure. Once Scoresight is up and running, you can start to configure your OCR capture. Here's the basic setup. Choose a source from the list. This can be a camera connected to your machine, an NDI source, RTSP URL, a video from your disk, or a capture of the screen. This is a pre-recorded video of a scoreboard camera, but Scoresight can be used to capture games, applications, or live streams playing in a browser. For the best accuracy, we have several important image configuration settings. Binary view helps you see how the OCR engine will process the image. Use the four corner option to rectify any perspective in your camera view. You may also add stabilization to help with shaky camera or bumps and you can enable and disable the on-screen display which gives you a reading of the input frames per second and the detection timing. Zoom in and out using the mouse wheel and holding the control key and pan with the middle mouse button. Click one to one to reset the view. To add detection fields, click the field on the top left. You can add as many additional fields with the plus button. With the field selected, click Add to Scene, then drag the field over to place over the reading area in the image. Adjust its size by using the handles. Once you are happy with the positioning of the field, click it to enable the OCR settings. Use these settings to get the right detection. You'll notice we're using a specific format pattern. This tells the software exactly what numbers to expect. This is editable, but there are a few common presets uh, for standard readings like clocks and scores. Binarization helps the OCR to get a clear black and white reading. Sending it to local usually is the best option. Click the binary view to see the effects. The cleanup and dilate sliders here helps you fine tune how the software will process the binary image. The effects are visible in the binary view. For slanted numbers, use the skew option. If the letters are very tall, you can use the vscale option to adjust. Skip empty values prevents false readings when the numbers aren't detected properly. And auto crop will remove empty area around the numbers to help the OCR focus. There are several other options like reading dots, useful for scoreboards with visual indicators of fouls, for example. At the bottom, you will see several output options. Text file option will save your data locally to disk, updating in real time. After you set up a folder, text files will be written into it for each detected field. You can also save CSV and XML files for all the fields together. We have several API integrations for OBS, vMix, Uno, and a general API output for integrating the data by sending API calls to any other software. In the browser tab, you can access links to a hosted HTTP server that will serve Scoresight data to other software or the browser with a simple script. To control performance, you can set how many times per second Scoresight will attempt to run a detection. On slower machines, this may be lower than your settings. The maximum is 15 updates per second. You can pause the updates as well if needed. This is the basic setup. Your OCR should not be accurately tracking scores and time. Remember to test different settings if you're using a different layout or image conditions. You may want to explore the file menu to see the software logs that are useful if things are not working. Translate to a different language as well as importing and exporting your configuration if you need different detection profiles. I hope you will enjoy using Scoresight. Thank you.